On today's special episode of Nostalgia Test Now, we put the trailer to the 2024 Roadhouse reboot to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. Hashtag not my Dalton. Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. Not my Dalton, Manny. Not my Dalton. <sighs> Bro, right away, are we going to have a throat getting ripped out scene? No, I, it, it is not going to, no, and, and we're going to jump right in, people, because this is a special episode. Well, <laughs> this is a Nostalgia Test Now episode, meaning this is an episode for new stuff, for anything that's, uh, you know, not 10 years old. And this we've been talking about for quite a bit. We quite have a bit, an episode. Since our, our episode with Billy, yeah. who is a special great guest who's going to be yeah. on a lot more this year. Yeah. We, he, we couldn't get on. This was an emergency, guys, because it got yeah. released like today, we got the all the text, everybody coming to us, and Ugh. the trailer is released, and I was like, all right, fine. I was kind of annoyed that I had to watch it, then I got excited, then I got <laughs> annoyed again, and then I was like, shit. And it was like, all right, we got to just talk about it on the pod, because I got to save on. all my comments. So let's, yeah. did, you, did you like d- deep dive in it, or you just kind of did a quick one? I watched it, I just did a quick one, because I couldn't, it, because... <sighs> We're going to watch it and then we're going to react. But I'm going to say this, that a Nostalgia Test Now test is something that is not 10 years old. We look at it. We we watch it. We've been doing this for a little bit now. Check them out. There'll be a playlist that I'll put together and share with you (coughs) on Instagram. So definitely follow the play. Like download the episodes of the playlist. Right now, there's a great 90s movies playlist I put together for our episodes. And um, uh, 2023 Christmas, uh, our Christmas episodes as well. But... This is the thing. We're going to watch it to react, but also to see, will this movie, without even seeing the movie, pass the nostalgia test, meaning, will it be good? Will it be, I don't know what, terrifying, and then maybe nostalgic as a Will reboot? it I don't continue know. the demise of remakes? Will it continue the, mm-hmm. like, the reason why you shouldn't make remakes? Or will it be the remake to bring back remakes? Will it yeah. change my mind, Dan? Let's let's do the let's let's check the video out. All right, first. let's just watch it. So let me. You gonna share the screen? Watching this thing together? Yeah, we're gonna watch it together. Hmm. So cute. <laughs> it's gonna be very romantic. <laughs> Guys, Dan got me a new mic. I'm so happy. Got it in the mail. I was like, Manny Quillo. <laughs> Hope I'm sounding great, guys. All right, here we go. Okay, we're back. So what's up, Manny? Um. All right. First off, okay, yeah, what is we're the spotted right away was the cage, movie. the cage at, at, at the the roadhouse in in Key West. I have a, I own a roadhouse in Key West, so the question is, is like, is roadhouse a chain in this in this world? What is a roadhouse? Is there certain is there certain kind of bars called a roadhouse? Like she's like, I own a roadhouse. Like, what are you talking about? I own a bar called the Roadhouse. What's going on? What? And, and and like they would they like brought back the the chicken cage for the musicians like wouldn't that just be like bulletproof glass well I guess because you want to, no because the speakers could be out on the other side I don't know Manny that was funny because that obviously that's like an Easter egg there was a couple what, of Easter eggs there I what is guarantee this you movie? that's like his car okay all right no no he had a nice car remember I thought he had a shitty car. He has one shitty car. To pretend Here's the thing. it's a shitty car. Right. And he has that really awesome car that yes. he drives and then he hides, remember? Yes. The, that guy who was like- uh, From- uh, The from guy in New York. Iron who, Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ch- uh, slappy. 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 <laughs> Shout out Bring to Mike slappy. Iron Eagle. Everyone yeah. check out the Iron Eagle episode. Now listen. They tell- they t- Okay. <sighs> Right. The premise Hope. of Roadhouse, the original Roadhouse, is Patrick Swayze is this mysterious cooler, meaning just bouncer or whatever. Yeah. He has a living. 
he he's known all over for being this bouncer. Okay. Yes. And he's mysterious. In this one, the character is a washed up UFC fighter of some sort, it seems. Yeah, I thought it was funny that they had to do that. Why? Just because Colin, Colin, Conor McGregor is uh, is yeah. the is the antagonist. Like that's Sucks. like you. That dude could just be anybody. Why does he have to be? You know his Why? like. You know, and then we got to talk. But but then again, you're like you're tying in like once you have a UFC mm-hmm. generated movie, yeah. you're getting all the people who watch UFC to watch this. This movie is just what it's I a money grab. This. Let's just be honest. Yeah, I, I, it's a money grab, and I posted this on on someone's TikTok that like was talking about this, and I was like, "This is literally," and this, and I took it from what you said basically when we did our Point Break episode. This is the Mountain Dew version of Roadhouse, just like the like the Mountain Dew version of the Point Break reboot. Yeah, that's yeah. all this is. But it, we know these actors more. There's like some some. I'm, pretty know. known actors and they're and some of them are actually like more comedic based so this they're first of all roadhouse was not comedic it was not fun at all no there was no slapstick jokes going around like you know it opens up he, do you have insurance what do you mean do i have insurance what yeah so like it, there's obviously humor going to be in this movie which reminds me you said it today it's kind of like fast and the furious too like, uh-huh. you know, like, there's always got to be this, like, jokey thing. The guy who gets his arm broken, he's only mm-hmm. in, co- I've only known him in comedies. Yeah, yeah. He's good. And, like, the sleazeball who's playing the millionaire who wants to take over, yeah. he's good. Like, he's a good actor. I, I always love to hate him. So, like, mm-hmm. I get, I like what they're going with, but, like, and here's the thing. If we weren't on this show, would you watch that movie? No. no. See, I would. I, I, do, I, I think the reason I wouldn't watch it is because I th- <laughs> this is going to sound really weird. I just feel like there's been a bunch of movies now where like Jake Gyllenhaal is just trying to prove to everyone that he's not the guy from Donnie Darko, that he has abs and that he's a big dude. Well, I think he's, he's trying to fucking. show that he has so much range. Right? And then, like, maybe they're trying to bring back the last action hero. Maybe Don't. that's what... Well, look, think about it. Everything repeats itself. We're in the 90s. We're doing a 90s podcast. Like, not 90s podcast, but we're doing... We're concentrating on 90s, 90s this, yeah, this, this year. Yeah, this is from 1989, though. I, I know that, but I'm saying, like... And I, that's why I also hate... Like, if you're going to remake anything, maybe remake some movies in the 90s. Don't remake 80s because you don't get that vibe of the 80s, right? This wasn't 90s style at all, the the original. No. Right? no. So, like, I'm thinking, like, are they trying to make him as, as a, like, a lax action hero now? Like, because this movie is going to suck, <laughs> right? Dude, this movie looks like it's like- And he's not a bad Vice. actor. He's no, not a he's bad not. Actor. He's not. But like, th- I can't see him doing this. And and, and the, the funny thing is, Patrick cool. Swayze also was someone that's like, why would he do this? But that was what made it interesting because are they going to do the joke? Because remember in the regular Roadhouse, they're like, oh, you look, you know, I thought you were bigger in person. Oh, you, I thought you would be bigger in person. Yes. What's going to be the running joke here? Nothing. Because he's they all know a- how big he is. He's a UFC fighter. He's huge. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and so like th- there was that comedy, but Patrick Swayze was like, like, and, and here's the other <laughs> thing about his character in Roadhouse. He was also like some sort of like PhD or had a master's in philosophy and did all this stuff. Remember, like, you yeah, 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 all this. Weird, well, you see him working shit. out on the boat. Like, so I guess he's living on the boat now. Yeah, they're going to have a, boat. I wonder if they're going to have a scene where you're just going to see his butt like straight up <laughs> <laughs> chilling all his butt. Chilling all butt. You're probably going to see McGregor's shirt off about 80% Dude, of the time. I wonder I if McGregor him. has in his contract that he has to beat up Jake Gyllenhaal like once or twice before Jake beats him up. I mean, most likely. The other most thing- likely, because like, how is he going to be betrayed as not- He is a horrible actor. See, that's that's the thing, man. Like, Terrible. I'm shocked that Jake Gyllenhaal was like, 
can we find someone like why couldn't you find another like actual actor? Yeah, Jason Statham. You could have done that or or um why can't I remember his name who plays Creed? Oh, Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan as now, a I think bad Michael, guy. Well, because no. Michael could play bad. Well, okay, he can. But I also think it would have been interesting if Michael B. Jordan was Dalton because he's small. He, I mean, maybe he's smaller, but I, I don't know. Like, I just don't want, I needed someone that if they were going to reboot this, be like, Swayze wasn't jacked. No. You know, we had this conversation. But nobody on, in the 80s in that, like, it was like Bruce Willis. Like, that's what I'm, t- what know? I was just going to say. It, it, yeah. It, we had this conversation on the Die Hard episode. Like, you had Stallone and Schwarzenegger jacked right sure and you had john claude van damme pretty jacked right and then you have bruce willis the guy not meant to not meant to everyday guy everyday guy turned into action hero out of nowhere yeah jake gyllenhaal like if you're at the usc you're you're literally an action hero like you like yeah you've been trained to like do so much they could have just kept him as a regular dude who just was jake gyllenhaal without muscles yeah, just make him a bouncer. Yeah. I think right. Zach Efron would have been good in this. <laughs> I want to see Zach Efron, like, soar. He's in I, that wrestling movie. I want to see that. Oh, the guy I, who that, plays Bears was, in it also, who just won the Glo- Golden Globes. But make him, um, make him Dalton. Make him Dalton. Yes. All right, guys, we're recasting already. We're but recasting a movie we haven't any- seen. <laughs> Make the other guy Dalton. I said it in when we originally <laughs> talked about this conversation a couple of years ago, right? Like, yeah, the guy from Bridgerton. Yeah, like because he is got to get a middle of the road dude. He's got that Swayze physique. He doesn't look like he's gonna beat you up, and then all of a sudden he kicks you into the ground. Yes, you know what I mean. And who's gonna play the Sam Elliott part? I looked at. Are, the are they gonna have that? They're not. They're not. They're, they're not, not gonna having have a best that. friend. I I don't that comes see. And helps him. I don't see anyone in the cast that would be that. Oh, I mean, no. if they were going to do that, it should be the guy then that plays the Punisher from the Punisher series. Because they, they're going to need him. Remember, he comes to help the butt because it's so bad. He comes. Yeah. Right. He comes. Yeah. So Not like wearing underwear. No. <laughs> and he's got that hair. Sexy hair. You know what would have been great <laughs> if you bring Vanessa Del Toro comes back, but as the character of him in uh, Desperado. <laughs> Like dude, he just comes dude. and just fuck some shit up. <laughs> they, I think they did. Like, did you ever? They see could have done so much better if they were going to do this reboot. Like, did you ever see, what? Uh, what were they thinking? Money. This is like Michael Bay came out with a with a a reboot. That's exactly. what it looks like. You know, you're going to have awesome explosions. So, like, Which, no matter no matter what, you're going to get you're going to get. Um, Fast and the Furious vibes out of all this. 100%. I mean, it's you the saw new, the boat This chase. is the new action, you know, yeah. film. That's yeah, what this is. Saw, it's, it's, yeah. But I wouldn't have called it action. Like, I don't even know what I would call the original one. It's not action. It was like, I don't know. What did they call it? What did they call it? They probably called it action. I mean, uh, I don't it's know. Just, it was just I, crazy I, to see. I mean- I'm, I, heard, I hope so Kurt Russell comes back as Elliot say, as Elliot's part. Imagine okay. Kurt Russell shows why up as the why, be- not? why not older best friend? Yo, yeah. he's got some. He could he could kick him ass. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, of course he can. I yeah, mean, we, Santa we Claus, also, bro. Th- <laughs> we also it's crazy. Tango and Cash. <laughs> Tango and Cash. Yes. Yo, right? I hope they bring some like cheesiness to it. Like if you're gonna do it, I hope you got a lot. It's of not gonna be cheesy. Callbacks. They're gonna have that stupid. the The problem is they don't do cheesy anymore. They do no, but stupid comedy. They over. do like dumb jokes, like yeah, I uh, no, I I broke his arm. That's yeah. the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, it was an Amer- 1989 American action film. That's how Roadhouse <laughs> in eight, 1989 okay. was. Um, all right. Categorized as. Yeah, and Wade Garrett was Sam Elliott's uh character. And mm-hmm. I'm looking on the cast list of the new one, and well, most people don't have a character name for some reason yet. Maybe because they don't want to leak the story too much. JD Pardo, maybe he is the uh, Wade Garrett, but that would make no sense. Travis Van Winkle. 
No. I, it, truthfully, you say you know some of these people. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> I feel bad because I'm out of touch. But like, I mean, kind of. I, I know the guy who sucks. broke his arm. He he was in um, shit. It was a comedy show of two girls that live in Brooklyn. Um, I forget what it was, but they were funny. And he was, <laughs> he was like the gay roommate. He's funny. He's a funny guy. I, he's been in other things, but he plays comedy. So it's like, it's going to be a comedy relief. Like that dude is going to be like yeah. the guy that just says funny things. And then even have- the guy who plays the sleazeball, he always yeah. has some sort of like dark humor to him. Is there going to be a musician? Yeah. Like what the fuck? your friend? No. At the end, while they are they gonna jo- are, is the love interest in him going to go naked in no, the water? They're not going to do anything cool. No, like it's just going to be they're transporter not. meets like Ninja Turtles by Michael Bay meets like it's you just know, s- it's just weird bullshit. that you got Jake like that's a pretty big name, right? Of would, course, right? And you know you couldn't get another big name to play his counterpart. Just because you put him in the UFC, there's all plenty of people that you could have put in the UFC like that act, and it's like I get it. <sighs> You're just trying to like take the money grab, but like, I'm sorry, Connor, you can't act. Like you can't. You're you know like the five things that he said, the stupidest lines ever. This Dumb. goes back to, I guess. I mean, maybe he'll turn into an Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, dude. Because like no, Arnold Schwarzenegger act took first, acting lessons, and then he just went, he went hard, and you just like loved Arnold, right? Well, it, according to the book I'm reading by uh, Nick Dis, uh, Semlin, uh the Last Action Hero, uh, uh, Schwarzenegger took a lot of acting lessons, okay. and then the part that made him best was when he didn't talk, which was the Terminator. That's what blew him up, and then Commando. Or commando first, and then I think terminal. I forget which one. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all f- physical acting, right? So Conor McGregor has to come in and go having a smashing night, fellas, bum, bum, and then bum, hits bum, things bum, with bum, a bum. golf club. It, it that's like, the best take. He looks like he should have been the penguin in like <laughs> Batman too. <laughs> I'm telling you, if they wanted, like, what to are you this, saying, dude? If they wanted to reboot this, 100% what they should have done is they should have cast everyone from It's Always Sunny in, Cal- uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I-, I stand by that choice. Mac okay. then becomes Dalton. You have Mac Dalton? Yes. 100%. Okay. Yes. Charlie, the musician or some weirdo weirdo friend of his. Um, uh, the guy who plays Dennis, and I'm sorry I'm not getting all your names, but like the guy who plays Dennis would be the the his nemesis. Because, you know, why not? And then Danny well, DeVito could, okay. is, or he could play like the Ben Gazzara part and Danny DeVito could play the owner of the bar that he comes to save or something like that. Or, you or could Danny, could Danny DeVito be the rich sleazy asshole? Well, that's what I'm thinking. You be him and then Dennis is like, well, and then you get someone else to play the owner, maybe like uh, Ryan Dean Reynolds or something. No, that Ryan Reynolds couldn't play this. this no, Ryan Reynolds is going to be too funny the whole time. Yeah, but so would they. Yeah, but like it, then you know. All right, oh, okay. Hugh so you throw Jackman. Ryan Reynolds in there. Yo, Hugh Jackman comes so in as best okay. friend. Y- y- this is what I'm saying. Like they had so many other people. Dude, they spent so, so much people. money on so many people. Like, come on. Like we could have. Why didn't they talk to us? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you had so many people that you could have easily been like, all right. So like even even Hugh Jackman could play. The main role, but exactly. I would rather see him. I would rather yeah. see him in the, as the best friend role because yeah. yo, he comes. The, you know, his face is like he's been through some shit. Yeah, I you mean, know? look, this is what I'm saying. I'm shouting out the Charlie Day, uh, Glenn Howerton, Caitlin Olsen, Rob uh, McEller. I can't say his name. Anyway, the <laughs> guy, <laughs> and they, like. Wrexham. You you all need to be remaking Roadhouse. There needs to be another remake. And I'm saying they should be at always sunny in Roadhouse, Philadelphia. One hundred percent. And we don't. And just like let just, us be I'll be an extra. We, yeah, you could beat us up. Beat, I want to be throw a bottle at me. Yeah, yeah. like a hundred percent. But I want to. We have to consult on this because this. I don't know. So okay, I can't. I can't. This is gonna be. I can't. We're gonna have know. to watch this too. I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I can't. Wait and to I'm kind of excited on. just to see, like, you know, Billy's listen, experience. I. 
<laughs> I'm excited. So, so here's the thing. We can't go further than this. We can't. No, repeating. this is um, after this. We're done. This is it. I <laughs> think. Can't. I think we should have called it something else, and it would have just been fine. I and mean, would have been like, oh, they made this movie. But yeah, but like, call of course, they called it Roadhouse. Yeah, or yeah, exact. Okay, call it the bouncer. Yeah, I like it. The yeah. bouncer, and maybe be like, oh, it's Roadhouse, but this time. But you're calling it Roadhouse. You got. Mm-hmm. You got to freaking step it up, dude. This is what you step it up with. It should have been. Um, it 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 really you might as well been, put Eminem uh, in the movie. <laughs> that would I'm sorry. Amazing. That would have been amazing. You might as well put Eminem in the movie. That would have been amazing. Remember Dalton gets stabbed in so, the begin in the first scene, yeah, and he doesn't even have a first name in the original film. Like on the IMDb, it's just like Dalton, Dalton and now they're maybe. calling him Elwood Dalton. We should get shirts made. Not my Dalton. I think and everyone watch needs to be like calling this and, out and be like, "Not my and, Dalton," uh, and show up to the movie theater <laughs> with <laughs> "Not my Dalton." It's terrible. This it's is terrible. terrible. <laughs> I mean, oh, again, I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Just watched a movie with him yeah. where he plays that pro- that TV guy who chases after accidents. He's crazy in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Don't like do this. This one's stay away from this one. Yeah, so Manny, uh, we come to this part where we put this to the ultimate test, to the nostalgia test. Now. Will it be nostalgic? No. Will it be nostalgic or anything? In 20 years? No. No, no it won't. It will be comedy for shows like this. Uh, yeah, Th- I think it's 100%. This is not going to be nostalgic. I think it's just going to have this moment now because- They'll have Easter eggs out. for like, yeah, you know, a couple, a couple of the things will have Easter eggs. Yeah. And then we will will be like, yeah. so what? And then people will be like, why'd they do this? Just like no one talks about the Point Break reboot. No one talks about the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles. No, no one, one talks about talks, Dirty Dancing reboot. No one talks about that. Um, this is going to be like, oh, they did that. And then that's it. And it's going to be over. And then and then we'll all watch Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze in it and be like, why they? Oh, you remember that they did that other one? Uh, no one cares. Put on Rocky. I can't Ford. wait because you know what's going to be great about this is they're gonna everyone. It's going to be number one on Netflix, the original Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And people are going to be like, fantastic, um, fantastic. Yeah. Exactly. This is this is this is it. Trash. Just goes back to like, stop making reboots. Disney, stop making live action of any of your animations because nothing has been good. <laughs> okay, I just watched Little Mermaid. Don't say anything. <laughs> no, what do you mean? No, I, I'm sorry. It's just Disney the extra songs you didn't need. Stuff. The, the extra songs you didn't need. I haven't ran into one live action that I thought was good. Really? And I watched the Beast all. was pretty good. Okay, that came close. I will agree. That one was pretty good. But I think the Beauty and Aladdin the Beast was- sucked. Um. <laughs> Sorry, a lot suck. The Beauty and the Beast one was pretty good only because like it goes back to the conversation that we have to end this episode now, but that conversation that we went into in the Toy Story episode about how the toys live forever being like the people that became furniture yeah. and things and then like are they like when they crash are they dead? Like are these yeah. people dead? Like how do who becomes a chair, who becomes a spoon? Is yeah. everybody something in that <laughs> house? Some of the- right, so I think we'll have to do. Someone's a doorknob. Yeah, someone a doorknob <laughs> is so, it's like someone wakes up and they're like you know a toilet or you know, someone's do they like have a toilet, toilet paper roll no, or holder. Someone's yeah. a bidet. Someone's a bidet. And he's a prince and he has a kingdom that like <laughs> just going on fine without him. Yeah. Did he eat his parents? That's the other thing I want to know. Crazy, but um, yeah, that's crazy. I, yeah, I will but, agree that that one was the better of all of them that came yeah. out recently. Yeah. Yeah. But people, I don't know. Hashtag not my Dalton. Let's get it out there. Hashtag Everyone. not my Dalton. I want to be proven wrong, but. Yeah. Not we'll end be. up having to watch. We'll end up watching this. There'll be a full episode with Billy Dilly as a Billy's guest. coming back, on. Go Has back to come on. Us. I mean, Billy's been on some epic episodes. Um, and, yes. Uh, come on. This is going to be so funny. Episodes, I'm going to have to see it at the theater. I think I'm going to go to theater. It's just coming out in Prime Video. Isn't no, it? No, it's not. Damn. I'm pretty sure. Please. That's how bad it is. It's straight to prime. Like, it's straight to prime is the new straight to DVD, is which it? they should have done Hold with on all second. of the live. Yeah. Did you see Mulan? 
They didn't have Mishu in it. Roadhouse Shut is up. scheduled to be released by Am- via Amazon MGM Studios via Prime Video on March 21st. Straight to Prime. It's going straight to Prime. It's not even coming out in the movie theaters. <laughs> like, what? People, we have to end this episode because I'm getting angrier as this goes on. Everyone, follow the nostalgia test. Straight to Prime. Hashtag straight to DVD. <laughs> yeah, hashtag straight to Prime, not my Dalton. I will, uh, we will uh, see you soon. New episodes coming. Uh, follow us at the Nostalgia Test on Instagram and TikTok, um, and at Nostalgia Test on X and everything. And P and follow us. Uh, you know, at follow our subscribe to our YouTube page at the Nostalgia Test. We're putting up all these video, all our episodes, cut new episodes, full video. And um, Manny, any last words about Old House reboot? Not my adult. All right, that's it. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> have a good uh, Peace. <laughs> Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter, at Nostalgia Test, and on Instagram, at The Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on... The Nostalgia Test.